Hello everybody, look at that, my friendos. We're playing Life is Strange episode four. Why did I clap? I don't know. Water in a dinosaur with a turtle. It's a dino turtle. It's time to play. Episode four. I do not like how episode three ended in the slightest at all. I do not like how chaos theory ended. Hate Previously it. on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Chloe. Let's talk about your superpower. Aww. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Calder, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and feed it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We I do awesome. not like how this ending happened. Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Also, um, I noticed last time that I was streaming. I, I noticed after I'm after, uh, I noticed last time after I finished the stream that I have barely played with Warren, and that is because I think that Warren is a bit creepy and stalkerish. Um, the reason why is because like he waits outside of your dorm for Max. To like walk outside of her dorm, like and like I know that like friends do that and stuff, but still, I think Morin's a bit creepy and stalkerish. In a Life is Strange TikTok account, even thinks so. So, if you don't believe me, go and check it out for yourself. Who's gonna sit on the bench? Oh, it's Max and Chloe. Or it new Chloe? I don't know. Well, yeah, it's new Chloe. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are again. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's 
more than it was my other chance of death. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. If the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby, I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. But you could take some amazing shots. These beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, when I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh, talk about accident. Are you okay to talk what about happened? An accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Black Hill. Rachel. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. You think? Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. Whoa. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. Whoa. This Chloe hates Lunch. that? Wow. That is insane. I never thought that there would be an alternate dimension Chloe that would hate the word hella. That is insane. Cause like that's the one word that uh the Chloe that we've been following this whole time says all the time. So yeah. Pretty high-tech layer. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass. It's like a here. hospital room. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you were here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Um, can you, can you bring me some water? Let's look at her stuff. Snow globes are taking over. This Chloe seems so sweet. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals. The blue-haired Chloe that we know of is also pretty sweet. But I mean, like That's really like heat wave. kind and caring and sweet. The garden, you know? Think about her childhood. She can't even feel the grass now. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh, that was the um the picture that we took in the last episode at the end. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. I'm glad you think so. There's the old Chloe. Yeah. <coughs> Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. Yep. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. And Lisa sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I forgot what buttons were which for a second. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Where did we get our water from? That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bo Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? Drink up, buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. Oh, no, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids when we were old. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Oh, yeah, right. Checking out Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. 
I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, I didn't visit you a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. We laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I do. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when we'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I'll remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, so now we have to search for movies. Oh, here's the DVD. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. I completely cut off what Chloe was saying. Movie time. It's movie time. Do they both fall asleep? They must have. Right? Yeah, they did. believe you fell asleep so fast how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard are you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Same Chloe. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great different. Seeing you. Tiny differences. I know Same Chloe. Different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, 
can you everybody please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom morphine injector it's uh, it's total star trek shit you can't even see the needle seriously i, I need it um my parents keep this bag upstairs because they think i can't get to it but you can max you're the pilot right i'm on it chloe Wait, so they keep it upstairs because Chloe can't get to it, but Chloe needs it so that she's not in pain. I'm so confused. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be a scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Um, Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her and be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Uh, Rachel Amber. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Prescott family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Care room. Let's just talk about it all. I was by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. That's because it most likely is the last time. Wait, so if we go up. We have. Whoa. Nathan was worried? Whoa, dude. Too late, already drowned it. Ugh. 
We haven't really touched rewind much. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. All right, I uh, guess we gotta go upstairs. Find uh, the meds. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Let's see what's inside. It's empty. Well, I guess nobody lives up here. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I don't think so, Max. I don't think so at all, actually. At least we never had to hide from step douche. Not in the slightest. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive. That would be cruel. I never heard much about William's brother. I wonder if she's going to tell Chloe when she gets back. Because, like, we're definitely she going back. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Because, like, we're obviously going to go back to where we were before, right? Because I think we have to. Um, but, um, I wonder if we're going to tell Chloe, Chloe what happened. I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Well, who thought that they would be able to, right? It's the Prescotts. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. This Good choice morning, looks kind of weird. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were friends. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Joyce. How are you doing? Joyce about this? Joyce. I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. A lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son. No thanks. Just wait until Arcadia Bay goes down in a giant tornado. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care. For Chloe's sake. Let's talk about David Madsen, you know. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? Step guy. He, um, might hang out with the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. William. Let's I talk about William. How much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him.
Chloe and William. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are crazy now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. You can only do so much when she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she... Oh, she... Do you know what I'm saying? I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Alrighty then. Uh, well that was that. Was this? Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh, well, it was from Spinal Center. So we have to go to the bathroom, right? It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? So we have to go to the bathroom and get the meds. Alright. Alright. Switch on. Alright. Uh, search the drawer. Search the cabinet. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Search the other cabinet. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Cabinet. Here it is. Never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. I wonder where they keep all of our medicine up here. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. I just don't understand why they keep all the meds up there. You know, like. Like, even if they can. Like, even if Chloe can't get to them. And Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. It would be such a hassle. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. To get all those meds. Shall I just say, dear sir? You Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. Paris trip. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. <laughs> you at... The thing is, like, it would be such a hassle to go up and down the steps with every single medicine all the time. So why not just, like, keep them, like, in the kitchen? And, like, even if you don't want Chloe to get to them. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and but have still. your own. It's so easy. I'm painless. I'm okay, but... Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, 
stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary says emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Photo diary time. Photo thingy time. I forget what oh she God. called it. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Photo album time. How could I forget that? Look at her converse. She still has the same converse. Obviously, she can't wear them now. But same converse. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Wowzer. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Wow. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fun. Even if it was in another reality. Wait, so... He kicked her... So Principal Wells kicked her out of Blackwell because of her... Um, because of what happened. I'm glad I took this photo. Even though that he had a disability fund Chloe because... Has a new memory of William and her date. Would it be my first... Because we found out that, like, he had a disability fund in the last episode because we stole it. But he kicked her out of Blackwell for that. That's crazy. Is that okay? <laughs> oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished you. Turn the page. Whoa, awesome picture. You look so badass in our pirate gear. You should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Turn the page. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. That's the picture. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible. And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? No. Yes, no, 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 no. I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. She wants us to do it. We have to do it, right? Chloe, I'll just drift to sleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. No, 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 no. I know that I clicked accept, but it's so sad. I know that this isn't real, but still, it's so sad.
Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Okay? I love you lots. See you around. Sooner than you think. Focus on the photo. I'm sorry, William. Do it now. Do it now, now, now. Come on. Yeah, we're doing it. My controller vibrates so much. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Mac. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the plan, John. Mm, the power's fine. Are you going to burn the photo? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no she burned the photo. God. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with- Well, I mean, she can't undo it now. Mac, you're just a free agent. She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll confused Chloe and when we grow up we're taking over the world listen whatever happens I want you to be strong even if you feel like I wasn't there for you because I will never abandon you Chloe I'll always have your back always Back to the Call of Duty, um, burning picture scenes. There's a reality we know and love. There's more of it. Chloe trying to stab David with a butter knife over a cake, you know, as you do. Are we going to tell Chloe what happened, though? We're back in Chloe's room. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get 
one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. Yay! Chloe! You sound Chloe's high, back. But thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Are you gonna tell her? Tell her. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. Okay, well, let's get up. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Take a photo of Chloe. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. No, we're not gonna tell her. Ma'am. Oh, we got most of them from the last episode. We got barely any from Clis from Chrysalis. I've lost all the shit. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Staying up all night. Are you serious? Is the I didn't even click on that one. Lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Yes, Chloe Price was here. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. Not sorry. Not at all. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Actually, he, I don't think that he died twice because a million years ago. that was in like a different. How much time have I altered? Since? That was in like an al alternative timeline, right? And that not in the in that alternative timeline, he was alive the whole time, right? So that I mean, always makes me think of William and Chloe. Kate and Rachel. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche down until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkling. The episode name came up. Keep it in your As face. it always does. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. Willpower. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Step Crack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom was giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. That's my Chloe. All right, time to go downstairs. The thing is, though, I mean, obviously, you would choose uh, Chloe's side, but even if you don't, um, Frank, I mean, not Frank, um, David will still, like, be mad at you if you choose uh, his side. So... That blue dye makes me so happy. 
And he's the real Chloe of that. With me. All right. Downstairs. Downstairs time. Cutscene. That's always nice. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. That was a nice little cut scene. I gotta fix my headphones because they're hurting my ears. Oh, two texts from Warren. Not gonna lie, Warren's kind of creepy and stalker-y. Which is why I haven't really played with Warren that much in this game. I haven't really, I've mostly just focused on Chloe's part of the story. Looks like David already booked a room. Looks like David already booked a room. Why did I click that twice? I don't know. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Those poor whales are like beached angels. They're still washed up. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. All right, uh, garage time. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Should I have signed the petition? Black Rose sure isn't safe and private anymore. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. Wow. At least he has one weird fan. I wonder who it is. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Wow. I wonder if it's one of the Prescotts, then. Like Nathan. That makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. I wish that uh either Chloe stole another gun or David is out there armed. I wish that um uh Max would have told Chloe about what happened. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Wow. That is crazy. I wonder if David is going to the party. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David. Wow. That's a pretty, pretty padlock. Seven. Shit. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. All right, um. Oh, look at 
the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Yeah, but be very careful. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Just move it back. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Well, it does something. Uh, what? I'm not entirely sure. Crowbar. Am I great? Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Just put it in your back pocket, as you do with crowbars. You know, because they're perfectly pocket-sized. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Whoa. So something pay up. Something, something pay up. I can't see it because of the glare. I think that glare's meant to cut it off, though. That's not Chloe's truck. Is David helping us? Is he helping? Score. Back to Chloe now. I don't think so. I think... Those just happen to be there because, uh, David is a strange person. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Oh, we have to call her down. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. I'm glad that we're back with the normal Chloe. The episode's not over, is it? This is normally the music that they play at the end of the episode. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. But an actual file's here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. 
Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. Haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right, cool. Uh, what are we meant to do Let's again? See if I can find out where Nathan is. No, we're meant to find where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Way too much shit going on there. Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the handicap access fund. <sighs> I'm going to hell. I'm working on it. Wow. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. All right. Hi, Miss Grant. Time to talk Max, to Miss Grant. You always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance food. Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott and thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. No. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. Okay, so should we rewind I'm that? Sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. Yeah, we so we should talking rewind that. that. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you. I was looking. Oh no, nothing new. You're in a. So, let's just say. Kate, let's just I don't talk think about things. This would have helped, Kate Rush. Oh, Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate, the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell, and they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Principal Wells. So why doesn't Principal Wells stop the party? To be honest, he doesn't seem to care about what's going on here. Raymond Wells has saved the school from financial disaster, and he cares more than you know. You're wise, but don't be so quick to judge everybody. You're right. I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. Recent events. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Beyond science? I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic, it's erosion. 
dying animals. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Time travel. What about wormholes and chaos theory? Uh, time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. Okay, That's cool. We have to go and talk to Chloe now. Makes me mad. Should we talk to Samuel? I think so. How are you doing, Max? It's been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. Butterfly effect. How are you? Change one Sad thing in the past. Confused all like changes. Everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. People. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Nathan. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Back. Done. I'm sorry. I better get going now. I think everything's changing. Can we talk to Justin? No, we can only look at Justin. Time to talk to Chloe. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you could have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja Noir. The Blackwell Ninjas. It's so lame they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because oh. I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Oh crap, these are the boys' dorms. Why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Oh, is that meant to be Daniel? That's Are sad. Are paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Apparently for the Vortex Club. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. This can only be Nathan's room. It sounds like like he's inside though, doesn't it? Oh no. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Okay, we can look at that later, damn, Joyce. Nathan. That's a nice shot. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Oh, Jesus. Nathan is one sick fuck. I don't think one book can guide the Prescott. Lamp, 
sure. That is so Chloe. Oh my god. No. Chloe. <gasps> Chloe. Dude. That's messed up. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Apparently. It's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Very much so. Bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Okay then. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Is it from David? Better not be. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Kind of creepy. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. But why? What is with this dude? Oh, crap. I didn't even see those. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Alright, time to run. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Alright, cool. Phone. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I'm not worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and... Creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh no. What are you doing in my dorm? <coughs> You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead. Not another gun. Stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this motherfucker! Get off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! Yes, we have to go. Another gun. We have another gun. Who's the bitch now? 
Chloe. Another gun added to our arsenal. Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. I need to stop hitting my microphone by accident. Sure it does, Nathan. Sure it does. Damn. Also, you shouldn't that even be intense. in your dorms. Because, like, you're Warren. expelled. Thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. That's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. All right, cool gonna go and see Frank yeah ooh same place that opened at the beginning of the episode just a bit different quite a bit actually hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. And all that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hate you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grow up. I'm looking forward to the day where we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. I guess it's time to go. Signpost. Look at the signpost. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. I don't want to go that way. That's great how it cuts you off. I'm just seeing if, like, we can take a picture or anything. There might not be be any pan estates by Saturday. No, no, I don't think so. This is where my nightmare started. It's all connected. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. No worries, Sam. If 
Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Oh no, I thought that they were just blocked off. Apparently they're just dirty. Photo, take a picture. That's what I was waiting for. The picture opportunity to show up. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? I don't look at the picture. Look at that. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust her. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. Take your trash out sometime, dude. Isn't that what he did? Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. That was a more of that wasn't much of a speak and more of a head nod, but okay. Oh look, the Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Give the money. Just to get him off of his back. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you'll excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. You already did. God, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. You, you come in peace after you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. Helping Chloe. I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her. Remember? You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, Carrie. I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash. And it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just Don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh my God! Fuck! You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine! Whatever! Just... Just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... Just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. 
You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. That was quite a lot in five seconds. But it worked out fine. Was there an option to not shoot him? Shit. This could have gone way worse, but rank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Oh, yes, Max. You can change all this if you want. I mean, maybe we should go back just to see if we can do it the peaceful route. You know, as you do. I kind of like the way that it ended, but still. Head Listen, nod. Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Be careful. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally, I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Okay, cool. Give the money. No fight. Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of... Oh, is that all? You don't get it. You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you... Like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not... Christ, I hate you. Yes, Frank. Without he comes up with the same answer. Customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right. Okay. Frank. Like you, you... No bullets. There were no bullets in the gun. You were safe, tough guy. There is something wrong with you, girlie. You pulled the trigger because you wanted to show me how safe I was? I just... Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of any- Alrighty then. Let's undo that again. You know, I think if we get the gunshot ending again, I just might leave with it. You know, I'm not doing this a fourth time. Listen, Chloe. I feel like the gun is a good thing. If we get rid of the gun, I don't know. Watch your mouth. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Go on how you used to be. Give him the money. No weapons. Ugh, Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in our ear until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. By the way, never tell me what to do in my home. Maybe I don't have a fancy Arcadia Bay house, but this is my turf. Got it? You're goddamn lucky you paid me back. So what do you want? Just the names. Oh, is that... Help or else. Help us. Or else. 
Are you actually threatening me again, little girl? No, no, I'm... Oh, Christ, I hate you. Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work Yeah, all. I don't Dude, think that there's dealer. a way that this will turn yes, out I'm where we don't end up shooting judgment. Frank. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. That was a new dialogue. Alrighty then. No, I don't think that we can do much of anything there. You gonna pull a Punisher? You know, like where he casually just pulls out the bullet, has a drink, as you do. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. At least you Please got the don't. key, he though. Saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Gather info on a character by selecting all the correct clues for each section. There's a specific number. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay, so select the account book. Frank Obviously. Is for sure, the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Alright, let's right? look. Let's, no, let's look at the letter. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. There's no doubt she loved him in some way. So we're meant to pick everybody who we dealed to, right? So both of them. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Alright then. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Okay, so Rottweiler is Nathan. Okay, so we'll just look for Rot then. Rot, there we go. Uh, select. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. That explains a lot. If Frank applies this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. Rot. Okay, so two. And then. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. There we go. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Yeah, we did something. Let's look at David's clues now. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party week. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. I don't know if this one would count. Nathan. 
David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. All right, that's of just. I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. Um, let's look at the map. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Vortex party, nothing about Nathan. Uh, coordinates and license plate. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. I think we got him right. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Nope. Do you select that? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. We're just meant to find which car is Nathan's, hmm. right? Who does this car belong to? Not Nathan. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? That's a great question. Why and where? Yep, another car David was tracking. Are you just meant to guess from the coordinates? Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up with the coordinates. You know, that's that makes sense. Uh T W L G H T W L G H T W T W L G H This is it. Okay, this is just sad, Lance. What? That is his license plate. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues together. Whatever. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. Okay, Nathan's tail light is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Looks like this isn't the right combination. So his tail light is busted. So oh, no. This is not working. Wow, sir. This looks like an expensive machine. That's definitely Chloe's car. Um, okay, Nathan's taillight is busted, and I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Select the busted one, and then... This one. Oh, yes. Finally! Finally getting somewhere. After a couple minutes. Chloe. We did let's some. Let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Max, I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm gonna study the board and try to connect all these dots. Hey Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. 
Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. All right. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their traps. Yeah. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. They might be. So we're going to select them. If there is a dark room, we better find it. Whoa. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. So let's select that one. And then I'm going to go with the Vortex. It looks like this is not relevant at all. No. Is it his phone? Okay, Max. It was his let's phone. Blow this code up of course. And go home. A text from Nathan. No. Wait, no, I want to look at the text messages. A text from Justin. And then two from Warren. Cool. All right, time to investigate. Let's start hacking. One. 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 Oops. Bad code. Uh, it's a four digit code. So it's not that one, at least I don't think. Uh, zero zero five eight. Zero zero five eight. Why did I hit back? Zero zero five eight. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Nine five three five, right? Nine five three five. Nine five three five. You locked it, dumbass. Why is it circled? Man, these uh, are almost impossible to read. 4436, I think. Oh. 87897808. Oh, eight. Eight. Oh, eight. Oh, yeah. Let's find out what Nathan yes. Prescott has been trying to hide. Yes. Uh, 
This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? It's brutal. Wow. Cutscene. Take a breath, Max. Go through cool. all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. These are just all the text messages. Or text party. Oh no. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? That's uh, the picture. That's the same car that D David took a picture of. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there, too. Not much out there. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. Poor rich Nathan. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. There's loads of gas in this one and there's nothing there. Like nothing out there. Um... Hello. Hi. Have you ever played Life is Strange before? Cuz this is my first time playing episode 4. Um, yeah. So, this infamous party was the fourth. I've never once finished the game. This is my first playthrough. I just bought the game like a month ago. Hello, uh, Alan? I'm gonna call you Alan. Is that cool? Whoa, thank you for the follow, dude. Okay, Chloe only dies if you pick the Chloe dying ending. I know the two different endings. Hi, Scrubby. Okay, how- Okay, why are you all giving me spoilers? <laughs> why? Just why? I know that. <laughs> low-key, high-key spoil- Low-key, high-key killer, though. I don't know why it almost, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you spoiled it. I don't really care that much. What? Dude. Dude. Did you seriously just come in here to, uh, 
Because, like, I can kick you right now. Because that's kind of not cool. That's cool. What's the point in this? Like, just leave the stream if you don't like me. That's the thing. Like... If... If you don't like, um... Me. Or my stream. Then just don't... Type in the chat. It's not that hard. Yeah, Scrubby, you're right. Never said that I didn't like myself. Okay, I'm just gonna kick you two, because you can seriously cause problems. So. Uh... Not gonna lie, you can seriously cause problems. I honestly don't know. Scrubby, I hope that you're not like that, because I don't like banning people. It does not make me happy. In the slightest, it doesn't, I don't like it. So, uh, have you ever played? Um... Have you ever played, uh, Life is Strange before Scrubby? Honestly, I might not even upload this to YouTube because it could, uh, get my channel, uh, messed up. So, yeah. Yeah. I figured that out. Have you played any of the other Life is Strange games? Because I know there's quite a few. I should try to link other clues together. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. I must have missed something. These clues are not related. Since Kate left the party early with Nathan, 
I should search for texts, locations, and transactions in the evening. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Okay, this is just sad, Lance. Why did I click off of that? Don't understand at all in the slightest. Max, just match the right text message with the right account book entry. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Oh, you're treading water, Otto. I'm just gonna I'm click them sure all. Everything happened during that last Vortex Corp party. When was that again? Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. is not working. Kate was completely out of it that night. Nathan must have used strong shit to knock her out. Max, there is no logical link between those clues. If I can match one of the text messages and transactions with Frank, then I can find the exact location. This makes no sense, Max. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Since Kate left the party early with Nathan, I should search for texts, locations, and transactions in the evening. Max, there is no logical link between those clues. Oh, you're treading water, Otto. Try again. Max, just match the right text message with the right... Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. I don't understand how I'm messing this up so badly. The first set of clues were pretty simple. Yes. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clues here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named... Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? 
Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. We're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. It was pretty creepy. This is like the Walking Dead barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Look at that squirrel. It's a squirrel. Watson? We can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Max, get over here before I torch this place. Can we get in this way? Ooh, we can. Chloe, fun times. I found the front door. Fun, di fun times indeed. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no. Oh, is it? Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate your library to FKK. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. This tractor has paid its dues. Let's look through the everything. Were just boring bastards. 1903. Wow. Righty then. Damn, lots of info here. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Yeah, there's obviously a reason. Are you gonna fall down there? <sighs> Nothing here. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than these clips. What about another crate? Ah, <sighs> the good old days. Would another crate pique your interest? Huh? I think it will. 
if a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Hmm. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. By Solomon of Friday the 13th movie. An underground bunker. It's totally brand new. Why? No it's a secret, secret tunnel. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second. So many haystacks. So few needles. The rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. All right, time Wait, to climb. Can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Pop, pop, and away, Supermax. I dig having you in this. Time to climb. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Unless, of course, it's a rickety old farm building, then nothing is sturdy enough to stand on. Here's the other end of the rope. Chloe, can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. Thy will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Pull the rope and, uh. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Release the hatch. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Ow. Everybody loves a good old owl. Good evening, Doctor Who. Sorry. You did not just Max, make a Doctor Who reference. Use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Attach. Pool. And then we should be able to unlock the secret hatch. Oh, so that didn't work at all. We didn't attach the hook. Can you attach the hook? All right, and it should work. Max Giver strikes again. Yeah. 
MacGyver. Hatch time. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? A uh, secret tunnel. Do I even need to say how weird this is? Okay, I am banning you. Who built this kind of place? The Prescott, of course. I hate banning people, but, dude, I'm sorry, but I had to. Dude. You're banned too. Cool. Okay, I'm I'm not dealing with you two. Okay, because one, you're gonna spoil the game for me, and possibly another person who hasn't played the game. And two, <laughs> yeah, I'm just not dealing with you, and you're being assholes, and I'm not. It's no negativity November, okay? And also. That's not nice. This bunker is so surreal. <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Dude, are you are you the same person with a different username? Cause I'll ban you too. I'm not dealing with this. I hate banning people, but if I have to, I will. I gave them a chance. I, I'll give you a chance. Just don't I be an you asshole and you're good. You know? Trip. That's all. Just be nice. Dude, seriously, it's not cool. And I know that you're just a troll and you get something out of this. Uh, and I don't really care. Uh, so I'm just going to ban you. Because I'm not dealing with it. Oh my gosh, I really hope that my ban list is not long by the end of the stream. I Watson, really hope that it's not. We can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Watch us.
Okay, so we have to go and find the code now. So, yeah. It's a three-digit code, right? Yeah, three digits. We have to find it. So that's always fun. Is it in this picture? Wow, so no. Talk about home on the range. This tractor has paid its dues. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Well, obviously. I guess the press cuts were just boring bastards. Twenty-two oh three is too long. Is it twenty-two three? We can try that. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Now that's a serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need him? Why did I click off of that? Man. Can do it, Max. <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Okay, thank you, um, cause if, now that's a thank serious. you, uh, time to see if this works, for, oh, yeah, how, thank you, I wasn't even paying any attention, thank you so much, yes. I would have been looking if for I that code forever. So, I'm guessing that you've played the game before, uh, Tim, or what do you want me to call you? Stopped and ready for the apocalypse. This must cost a fortune. Come on. Yeah, I wasn't paying any what attention. The hell is this? More survivalists. Thank you so much. Okay, Timo. Thank you. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. You know, I really hope that you're not another troll because I had to ban like three people so far this stream and I really don't like doing that. So look at these cans. Thank you so much. And I'm David guessing because you helped me, you're not. Store. So keep searching, Chloe. Whoa. Yeah, I this had three so coming. far, and this is I'm help not even kidding this is probably the most people that i've ever had in one of my streams uh well i had to ban them because they kept on giving uh spoilers to the games and then they were just going off in the chat and being assholes so i banned them which i hate doing but i had to um i've had two nice people so far which is scrubby and you which i'm hoping that you're good I'm guessing that you are. Uh, but this is also the most people that I've ever had in my chat, so it's kind of weird.
Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Uh, cause it's my first playthrough of the game, they were given loads of spoilers. Yeah. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Keep searching, Chloe. Son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. So, I'm guessing that you've played this game, um, Tamo, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but which, like, um, part is your, f like, which ending, I guess, did you go for? Because I know that there's two different endings. I didn't finish the game yet. Um... But yeah. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Files. Okay. Always fun to have files. The binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning okay. to go so tonight at the Vortex. I'll keep that in mind for the ending. I can't do this. No. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. I don't know how right you oh are, my... Chloe. This picture is framed different. Rachel, Rachel has passed out, and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep that in mind if i'm going to play the second game because i don't even know if i'm gonna play it yet but um yeah this shot is so staged i i can't believe it's real i can't kate looks so doped up at least kate was asleep through all this bullshit Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. You know, as you do. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody likes their whiskey. Okay. I know that after this, I plan to play never uh, so Before the Storm, because, I mean, it's a DLC. How could you not? Um, so who's using this fancy track? I know that David is in the second game, and he helps out uh, the brothers, because I've seen the stuff for the second game. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Everybody hates a good old needle. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Okay, so, like, this whole sink area kind of reminds me of... Um, and I'm sorry, but this is kind of like spoilers for the Walking Dead game season one, but it kind of reminds me of the meat locker that they're trapped in, in, uh, the Walking Dead game. The Telltale one.
speedy, Chloe. Boys, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Chloe, stop. Look. Oh no. Please no. Oh. oh. That smell. Rachel. Oh. I'm not Rachel. No, no, please not her. That's so sad. Oh, it's a deer. Oh no. Is the episode over? I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And we won't. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. the gun since episode two oh shit this is where daddy sleeps you're right look at the outline i can't tell if they're different what is that it can't be two men. jesus chloe look up at the sky whoa Beautiful. i don't give a shit the world is ending cool you're not listening Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Oh no, he's most definitely been us. drinking. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... I want to have something for prosperity. No, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. 
I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Time to go and find Chloe. I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of hot. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Who hired you? Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and... You bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Oh, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Nice. Can we talk to her anymore? I still haven't seen Nathan. I promise to let you know. All right, cool. Let's go. I swear, Life is Strange music is so good. We need to find Nathan and take him down. No. Okay, well we can't talk to Elisa. Thought that we could talk to her, but we accidentally just knocked her in the pool. That's all. Great. I hope Chloe can handle all this. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give a shit about being a member. I just want to talk Victoria to Victoria specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Just walk in. Chloe must be around. Somewhere. Hello? Can you please Earl and flush away? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Good night, sweet prince. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up, we're coming 
I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Well, possibly. I mean, couldn't you technically tear them down? And then it wouldn't really make that much of a difference. Okay, I think we need to go and find Chloe. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Are you mental? You can't come in. Yeah, we need to go and find Chloe. Wherever she may be. Why are you here then? So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? I will. He left already, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. Warren wants to go to dinner first, so that'll be fun. Is that cool with you, Max? Yes, it's great. Brooke, I'm happy for you. And Warren. I'd like to see you happy instead of waiting. Thanks, Max. Though I feel selfish talking about a boy considering hate in the Arcadia Bay echo meltdown. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Double moon. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, dude. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Okay, Chloe should stick out, right? So how do, how are we how did we not find her yet? What are we meant to undo that? I bet we are. End of the world. How's the end of the world going? Hey, this has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Sean Prescott. Sounds like you're 
ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? Victoria, you picked... Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Nathan. Let's talk about Nathan. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Miss Jefferson is talking about Mr. Jefferson. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Not enemies. Can't be enemies. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. The dark room. We have to warn her. We're gonna warn her. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did throw to Kate on that party so he could take her from her dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. Come on, believe her. You bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Okay, before this cutscene triggers, uh, why is my webcam laggy? Uh, I'll be right back. Who decided to join us? Yoshi. Alright, back to the game. Hey, Yosh. Please don't eat my microphone. That's all I ask. Alright, back to the game. 
Okay, she's nudging the microphone now. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Oh, I guess. Real fucking nice. That son of a bitch is not. There's another cat in here. Where are you, Nate? Oh, good. Chloe's here. She obviously hey, buddy. didn't find Nathan. The other one's awake now. Thanks, Max. I guess I'll be on my toes. Should we? Yeah, we have to rewind this, right? Yeah. Holy crap, this was a really long conversation. Nathan. I yeah, let's blame you. Nathan again. It's a fucking Some humanity destroyer. Well, you got Nathan. This is I'm not Jefferson. Is that what you uh, you saw me talk? Saw. We were just talking. I hope you win. We'll see. Not enemies. Maybe, but who's who that would be well, Max Paul, I don't think that's. Oh, you look so serious. Tell her about the dark room. Victoria, look. Oh, good. Chloe's. Chloe, Nathan okay, cool. Here. We can leave the Nobody party now. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Jefferson. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Dude, seriously. Nathan this is like the fourth so troll that I've gotten. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a uh, mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you Look at my cat. Thanks. She's so cute. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Get the hell out of here. Are you watching the game? She's watching it. Okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about it. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is. Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh wow, so surprising. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to oh, no. the memory of Kate oh, March. No. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. Are you gonna knock everything off my desk? Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. 
Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. I'm betting he's not gonna be there. Oh Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junk. Nope. Right mm -hmm. now. Get off my computer. Yoshi, I swear. I love you, but you cannot mess with that. Can't be messing with that at all. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. I think it's all good. She didn't mess up anything, I don't think. Good crap. We're meant to follow Chloe, right? God, I'll fucking kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. Birds. Burb. You're gonna suffer in heaven. Max, please hurry. Oh no. It's a cutscene. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. There's somebody behind her. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Chloe! How? What the fuck? No! No. Chloe. No. That's the ending of the episode? I don't believe that. Why would you leave me off on a cliffhanger like that? No. How do you even get it to where nobody got hurt? Victoria, believe your warning. Most people did. Uh, most people accepted Chloe's request. Not, well, it's, got, it's almost split to with Warren. I believe you. Uh. Most people didn't disturb it. The bird's nest. Um. Most people got the files in another way. Kate didn't help most people. Because... Sadly, she's dead. Um, I didn't even know that that was an option to motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex party. Holy crap, this was a long episode. Three hour long. Um, most people didn't leave a message on Morn's slate. Most people didn't figure out the pain code. Oh, 
How how could we have even helped Elisa? Ooh, okay. Holy crap. Well, I guess that's where we're leaving uh, today's stream. We just fell. I legit don't know. But yeah. We, um. Huh? The ending of the stream with me? Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, so, that was Life is Strange, episode 4, I am, I really want to play the next episode, but it is currently 1.30 in the morning, and this episode was 3 hours long, and, uh, and I know that if I play the next episode, then I'm never going to stop. What do you, what do you want to say? Okay, alright, you can, you can go. Anyways, and, uh, yeah. This was a strange stream. What, did I have, like, five trolls? Or five people that I had to ban? Um, which I really didn't like. But also, that's, like, the most people that I've ever had in a stream. What, eight people? Insane. Uh, but I had to ban most of them. So, that's always fun. Uh, so if you enjoyed this stream, uh, you can go and check out my YouTube channel. Uh, I will eventually be uploading all of these Life is Strange videos. Uh, I will be uploading these streams to YouTube in an episodic format. Um, so that none of them get out of order or anything. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed this stream, why not follow me and, uh, m m watch the next one. And, uh, I, I guess I will see you peoples, my friends, next time. Uh, and, uh, goop.